This video is the part 2 of the knee joint anatomy. You can find the part 1 in the link in the description. Starting with the bursa. A bursa is a synovial fluid filled sac found between moving structures in a joint with the aim of resulting wear and tear on those structures. Behind the synovial membrane is attached to the margins of the two femoral condyles which produces two extensions similar to the anterior recess. Between these two extensions, the synovial membrane passes in the front of the two cruciate ligaments at the center of the joint, thus forming a pocket direct inward. Now, going on to ligaments. The ligaments surrounding the knee joint offer stability by limiting movements and together with the menisci and several bursae, protect the articular capsule. The major ligaments in the knee joint are the patella ligament connects the patella to the tuberosity of the tibia, collateral ligament and cruciate ligament. Now, more about the patella ligament that connects the patella to the tuberosity of the tibia. This is a very strong ligament that helps give the patella its mechanical leverage and also functions as a cap for the condyles of the femur. Now going on to the collateral ligaments. Two strap-like ligaments, they act to stabilize the hinge motion of the knee, preventing excessive medial or lateral movement. Tibial or collateral ligament. Wide and flat ligament found on the medial side of the joint. Proximally, it attaches to the medial epochondrial of the femur. Distally, it attaches to the medial condyle of the tibia. It protects the medial side of the knee from being bent open by a stress applied to the lateral side of the knee. Cruciate ligaments. These two ligaments connect the femur and the tibia. In doing so, they cross each other. Hence the term cruciate, Latin for like a cross.